Welcome back to the channel, good friends. Brian from Apex Detail. Today, we're going to take a look at 3D's GLW Series SIO2 Ceramic Wash. Now, if you're a follower regular to the channel, you know I'm not the biggest fan of these. Uh, the foam sucks. The lubrication normally sucks. Sometimes even the cleaning power um, is subpar. And if I want to put SIO2 on my vehicle, I'll just wash it with a uh, powerful shampoo and spray it on myself with a an SIO2 spray sealant or spray coating. But let's give this a shot. 16 ounces for $19.99. I believe it's also available in gallon size. We'll see if this is any different and uh, stands out or stands above the rest of those SIO2 ceramic washes. We have a Tesla that is uh, well overdue for a maintenance wash. This is ceramic coating. Uh, th this is ceramic coated and we're going to clean it and wash it with 3D. We're going to go with 60 mils or 2 ounces in the foam lance. And then that's also going to be the exact same for the wash bucket as well, especially if you have a 3 or a 5 gallon bucket. I have the MJJC version 3 here. I've been quite disappointed with not the performance, but the durability. It is breaking down. The canister is breaking down. Every once in a while, I have a problem with the, the nozzle, uh, the canister or the the container here uh, any warm or hot water will deform it it's just way too thin way too cheesy disappointing uh, I go back to the version 2 which is still going strong and very happy with it Starting with the foam gun, and I would guess that these SIO2 washes are not a good idea with the foam gun. They're going to clog it, and it's not going to produce any type of decent foam anyways, but let's give it a shot with this uh, version 3 here of the MJJC. I'm not worried about it if it does get clogged, and I do have problems straight off, so I'm going to switch right back to the uh, version 2 and throw this one in the trash. As you can see, this one works, works much better, no problems. Uh, you are not going to get a foam from this shampoo. Uh, I will flush the version 2 here so it stays in good shape because it is my go-to. But as you can see, uh, nothing really to see here when it comes to using it in a foamer will not work. Switching over from the foamer to the tip, always connect it away from the car, point it down towards the floor. Uh, or the ground and uh, test it to make sure that it's connected properly so it's not flying at your car or a car, a customer's car, and denting or nicking it. Rinse is off easy enough, but again, this would be a bad idea. I mean, this has SiO2 apparently in it. You don't want to put that over top of dirt, so do your bucket wash and maybe hit it with the foamer after it's clean and let it dwell and let some of the SiO2 shower and uh, relax down over the paint and maybe bond. Uh, it's not worth it to me, but hey, give it a shot.
Let's pay attention to this area down here. However, this is where traffic film is clogging or masking the characteristics of the coating. And normally pH neutral shampoos, the weak ones, have a hard time with this. That's why you want to go slightly alkaline. And then if you're having hard, uh, problems with hard water, then you want to go slightly acidic. Uh, so the Level Cosmetica is great for that. But let's see if this can clean off the traffic film and unclog this coating once more. You can see the distinct line of where its own tires and wheels are slinging this stuff up uh, from the roadways onto the car. Exactly three gallons in the bucket and exactly two ounces into the bucket. And it starts to relax as the little tiny thin ribbons on the bottom of the wash pail or your bucket. Just stick the nozzle in there, agitate it, and it will suds up a little bit. I will show you how long that lasts. It's never long with an SiO2 shampoo. Um, but however, get the mitts in there, mix them in, and start washing the vehicle. I do not feel any lubrication whatsoever. And that's one of the most important things next to its cleaning power that I look for in a shampoo. No two bucket grit guard uh, mumbo jumbo here. Uh, multiple mitts. One for the top, one for the driver's side, one for the passenger side, one for the front, one for the back. Put them to the side. You can clean them later. That way you're never introducing dirt and grit back into the bucket. You can wash and tumble dry the mitts later. Low heat. It delints them as well. Nice and fluffy and soft for the next wash process. When we run the mitt from the front of the car to the back of the car as I like to do to see how the lubrication is there is none whatsoever it just sucks flat onto the surface equally important to me is its cleaning power let's wash this door that I showed you exactly where the traffic film was clinging to the surface hiding the characteristics of the coating let's wash it down rinse it thoroughly and come back and take a look Coming up to take a look at the hood, plenty of beading there. That Again, that doesn't matter to me. Whatever does settle on the surface, meaning SiO2, it's going to be uh, kind of equal to a spray and rinse product. It's not going to last very long, so I'd rather just wash it regularly and spray it with an SiO2 sealant and uh, get it done the right way. But let's get to the passenger side here. And the one impressive thing to me is that it was able to clean the traffic film off the side of the vehicle. So take the SI2 away from this and uh, add a bit of lubrication and I would be a regular user. So those are the strengths. Well, the strength. One, it has cleaning power. And it does make the vehicle nice and squeaky clean. Everything else, uh, I'll pass. While I pan in and show you the bucket where the sluds have completely dissipated in just a few minutes, I want to remind you to Subscribe if you're not a part of the Apex family. Hit the like button if the videos help you in any way. And hit the notification bell that'll let you know when we have new content available for you. Catch you in the next video, guys.